everyone, Danny from Crafco Budgets. Welcome if you're new here and welcome back. I'm excited to have you back. This is going to be a super quick budget with me video because um, I meant to do this before we got paid today, but you know, it's just been as usual, one of those things. And I guess um, there really is nothing exciting going on on this budget. Um, this is the, uh, we've got one more paycheck after this and then I get my, I start my new budget, which will then be changed over to allocate um, sinking funds and uh, money for my debt snowball using savings challenges uh, every week. So for this one, I don't have anything for debt or savings challenges, but we're going to do it anyway. So this is paycheck number two for us. Oops, sorry. So hubbies, this is Hubs' number two. And I always budget the 1,432. This is my first paycheck um, of the month. And I always budget 600. Um, so to explain that, I only put 600 towards this budget. If I have, um, which I usually do have money left over, I actually keep that in my business account um, as a buffer for my business account. So I have a buffer for our check account and a buffer for my business account, just so you know. Um, so the buffer, which has been depleted a little bit, so we are at 44.65 is our buffer. Um, now I do know what his pay was. It was $1,432.20. And mine is just a straightforward 600. So I'm keeping the 20 cents in the bank. Um, save the change. So I'm gonna put 20 cents here. We just add that. We just add it all into our buffer. Okay, so let's add this up. 1432. So I always budget for $2,032 for regular paychecks. Um, and of course, this one will include the buffer, 600 plus 4465, and that's just so I can balance out my budget. So the actual uh, amount of income is $2,076.85. Alrighty, so we always have our mortgage payment that automatically comes out of the bank and I budget $650 for that. And I know that's actually come out. That comes out on the Friday of our paydays, so I'm actually just going to carry that over. Next, we have cable and I budget $129. Then we have our internet and I budget $60 for that. Then we have our motorbike insurance and I budget 65 for that. Uh, then we have my office subscription, which I budget $8. And then our electric bill, I budget 200. Uh, Spotify, uh, what was that? That's gone up to 17. And then the iCloud subscription, which I budget $3, and that has already come out, and it's $2.99, so I'm automatically saving a penny I leave in the bank. So I just account for this, and then I figure it out over here. So what does that give us? $6.50? Plus 129, 60, plus 65, 8, 200, 17, and 3. So we've got $1,132. And that leaves us with $900. So when I messed my budget up last paycheck, this is where I messed it up. I had completely forgot to put our debt in there. Convenient, right? <laughs> so discover one is 300. Discover two. These are regular payments. 
And as soon as I get that Menards card paid off, these are the two debts we'll be hitting. So that lay, that's $800. That's the $800 I was missing. Leaves $100. And what I'm doing is a Christmas trip to see my son in Nebraska. I am putting $100 towards that. I have not pulled out the $100. I'm just leaving it in the bank. So that gives us our zero based. Um, so when I enter everything here, I will, our rollover was $44.65. And then, oh, sorry, I got that wrong. We have no roller. Rollover, roller. God, I can't even, words are hard. So we had no rollover. We were at zero. The buffer is starting out at $44.65. And then once all these expenses come out, and I'll know exactly, I mean, at the moment, I've got a penny. Um, but I know cable, internet, bike insurance, office, they all have cents involved, and that'll be added on there, and that's how I add to my buffer. So basically, that is my budget for this week. Uh, this paycheck, uh, we get paid every other week, and then we have a standard payment for my husband on the first of every month. So I don't have anything to cash stuff or anything. And, you know, really that's okay because it's coming up to Christmas. I have to organize to go to Nebraska. Um, my son wants me to do a lot of cooking while I'm there. Mrs. Mum's food, which is sweet and I love it. But he lives in a small apartment and has no cooking things. So I have to get everything together. So, you know, having a bit of break from filming and all that, I think is healthy for us. So that is it, my friends. Um... Don't forget, if you're new and you are interested in cash budgeting and living on a zero-based budget, meaning we know where every single penny dollar goes. Um, I keep a track of everything. I run a running expense tracker that I track everything that comes in my bank and I balance myself out. And it's been working beautifully for me. So if that interests you, hit that subscribe button, like the video, and remember the notification when I upload another video. So for this budget with me, that's it, my friends. I will catch you on the next video, which is an announcement for my Etsy store. So I'll catch you on that one. Peace out, everyone.